right. anytime you're doing a systems of equations problem, what you always want to do first is define your variables. And I do that by looking at the last at the question mm -hmm. and finding out what they're looking for. It says, what is the monetary value of each token? So I've got three types of tokens. G is going to be the monetary value of the gold token. Um, S is going to be the monetary value of the silver token. And B is going to be the monetary value of the bronze token. Now I can write three equations with these three variables because it says for $20, so $20 equals, you get the, any of the following mixtures of tokens, either 14 gold, so 14 times G plus 20 times S plus 24 times B is going to give you $20. Sorry, it's going to cost you $20. Or, let me change colors here. For $20, you could also get 20 gold, 15 silver, and 19 bronze. Or, for $20, you can get 30, 5, and 13. So I've got a three equations with three variables. And it doesn't look like it's too pretty either. I'm going to have to um, do something. I'm going to have to uh, pair up these two and maybe these two eliminate the same variable and then do it again. A lot of work, especially when there's an easier way, which is called matrices. But they don't want us to use matrices yet. So that's how you set up the equations. And now let's talk about the best way to solve it. Well, first of all, I would notice that this up here, I can divide a 2 out of everything and it would make it a simpler equation. If I cancel a 2 out of everything, just like turning one, uh, 2 fourths into 1 half, and it's the same thing, it's just easier to deal with a lot of times. I can't really do that to either of the other two equations. But now I can maybe see what's easier to eliminate, and I can see right here, I'm going to eliminate the S, because if I multiply this equation up here by 3, and this equation down here by negative 2, I will be able to eliminate the X. The, the S, excuse me. So when I do that, this is where I start to run out of space. So let's do that with the red. So I'm going to multiply the top equation, the first equation, I'll call it 1, and the second equation, 2, by 3 and negative 2 respectively. So 3 is 30 plus 21G plus 30S plus 36B. Two time, negative 2 times the second equation is going to give you negative 40. Oops, I wrote 30 equals, it should, I wrote 30 plus, it should be 30 equals, negative 40 equals negative 40G minus 30S minus 38B, those cancel, and my new equation becomes negative 10 equals negative 19G minus 2B, so there's one equation with just G and B. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep track of that equation up here, and then I'm gonna use my paper to do the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna use these two equations, the bottom two, and I have to get rid of the s again. Mm -hmm. So to do that, I just need to multiply this bottom equation here by negative three, mm -hmm. and so let's do that. Negative sixty equals negative ninety g minus fifteen s minus 39b. That's the new bottom equation. When I combine that with this equation right here, my resulting equation, notice that the s's are gone because negative 15 and positive 15 and negative 15 are 0. I get negative 40 equals negative 70g minus 20b. So I'm going to put this equation up here with the other one. So it's negative 40 equals negative 70g minus 20b and you can see now that I'm going to have to eliminate one of these either b or g and it's much easier to eliminate b by multiplying this top equation by negative 10 and so my equation, equation becomes 100 equals 190g plus 20b and now when I add these two together, remember this was a negative 40 right there. When I add those two together, they become 60 equals 
120 G because the B's go away. So G equals one half. There's my G. And now I go ahead and plug them back in and solve for the other ones. If G is one half, then this becomes negative 35. If I add 35 to the other side, this becomes negative 5 equals negative 20 B. So B equals negative 5 over 20, which is negative 1 fourth. I'm sorry, positive 1 fourth. It can't be negative really, it's positive 1 fourth. I'm so confused. I don't know what I did wrong. And finally, I'm going to plug in 1 half and 1 fourth in for G and S respectively into anything that I want. So let me just erase all of this and I'm going to plug those into this bottom equation, this green one. So my new green equation would become 20 equals 30 times 1 half plus 5S plus, oh that's not a good choice because 1 fourth, that's not going to be as easy to find. I'm going to change my plan. Notice you can plug it into anything that you want. I'm going to plug it into this top blue one up here. And in fact, the, the one with the green up here, the 10, 7, 10, 12. So let me just rewrite that. 10 equals 7G plus 10S plus 12B. And now I'm going to plug in the values here. 7, oh, that's, that's doomed for failure. I'm going to have to deal with some nasty fractions at some point. So 1 fourth is B. That's where I plug that in. 1 half was G. That's where I plug that in over there equals 10. So this becomes 3. This becomes 3.5. Uh, Half of 7 is 3.5. So I'm subtracting 6.5 from 10, which gives me 3.5 equals 10 S. And dividing by 10 is the same as moving the decimal point over 1. So it becomes 0.35. So S equals 0.35, or you could write that as a fraction if you wanted to. It's a matter of whether you like decimals. 35 over 100, and I can cancel a 5 out of both of those, and I get 7 over 20. So you could write 720. So, what? All right, so those are the three answers, G, B, and S. And to check if they're right, I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to learn this soon anyway, so I'm going to show it to you now. If you turn this, these into matrices, we're going to turn this side into a matrix first. We're going to write 7, 10, and 12, 20, 15, 19, 30, 5, and 13. Notice that I just pulled off all of the coefficients of each variable. That's all I'm doing, pulling off the coefficients. This is called, appropriately, the coefficient matrix. Then I'm going to take... Um, I want G, S, and B, and that's going to be equal to these three things right here, 10, 20, 20. So what I just did is I set up a matrix equation, and um, the way you solve this with a graphing calculator is really easy. You just put this, this right here in as a 3 by 3 matrix, so you, you have to go to, uh, on a TI-84+, plus you'd go to second matrix, which is above the X inverse button. So it's second matrix, and then edit. Go to edit uh, the first matrix and call it a three by three matrix. Mm -hmm. And then start entering in all those coefficients. Seven, enter, 10, enter, 12, enter. Keep just entering all these in. Seven, 10, 12. So it would be the numbers from mm -hmm. that equation. All so the coefficients. Seven. seven, hit enter, and it'll go over one. 10. Hit enter, it'll go over one. Twelve, hit enter, it'll go over one. Twenty, fifteen, nineteen, thirty, five, and thirteen. Okay, and then so now you've created that first matrix. Let's say it's called the A matrix. Mm -hmm. And now create a matrix for this one over here, which is a three by one matrix. It's three rows, mm -hmm. one column, and plug in ten. 20, 20 for that 3 by 1 matrix. Wait, but how would I get the answer then? For this? I'll show you. So create a, the B matrix, create the B matrix. So how would I get the B matrix? So your B matrix. So you
so you got to quit. You got to hit second matrix again to create this B matrix. Okay, whoops. So once you've created the A and the B matrix, go back to hit second matrix again. And now where it says names, you want to hit one. You want to, you want just to hit enter so it gives you the A matrix. So I'm sorry, let me restart that. First you want to quit out of the matrix mm -hmm. place and then go ahead and hit second matrix again and hit enter or hit the number one. It'll give you your A matrix in your normal box and then hit the inverse button. So do this, it's going to give you that. Then hit the inverse button mm -hmm. and then hit second matrix again and get number two which is the B matrix. So what it's going to do is it's going to multiply your A, your oh, inverse. So it's going to multiply your the inverse mm -hmm. of A by B, and it's mm -hmm. going to give you your answer. And when you do that, you'll get the answer. It'll show up as one half. How do you know if it's three by three or three by one? Um, three row by column. Okay. Row, here's rows, one, two, three rows, and one, two, three columns, so that's three by three. This is one, two, three rows by one column, so it's three by one. That's how you tell if it's column or row. Okay. Wait, so what would this one be? So your answers for this one would be 0 0.5, 0 0.35, and 0.25. And so those are the same answers as what we got before, so that was right. Let me just show you one more time how to do it mm -hmm. for another example of a matrix. Let's say we have uh, the matrix. So let's look at this system of equations. Well, first of all, you'll notice that these aren't all in standard form. So we need to move this one right here. We have to move the y over. x minus y plus mm -hmm. z equals 0. Mm -hmm. So you're your matrices are going to be, I'm, I'm pulling off, notice what I'm doing, I'm taking all the coefficients, mm -hmm. 1, negative 1, 1, so I'm going 1, 1, 1, 3, I'm sorry, 5, 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, and 1, negative 1, 1. Mm -hmm. That's my A matrix. My Wait, B matrix. are you getting the negative? Because that was a negative okay. one right there. My B matrix is just going to be 20, 68, 0. Uh -huh. 20, 68, 0. That's my B matrix. Uh -huh. And remember, you technically you have an X, Y, Z matrix in the middle uh -huh. here. And that's what we're solving for. So really what I'm doing here is I'm dividing B by A. And that's how I get this by right. itself. Now, there's no such thing as dividing matrices. Uh -huh. That's why you have to do A inverse times B. Multiplying by the inverse of B uh -huh. is the same as dividing. Kind of like if I had 3x equals 5, I could either divide by 3 or I can multiply by 1 third. Uh -huh. Same thing. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm multiplying by 1 third. That's what I'm doing. So in your matrix, you have to create your 3 by 3 matrix and put those values in. And then create your 3 by 1 matrix, put those values in. And then get out into the main screen of your calculator and type in A and then hit the inverse button times B. Uh -huh. and hit equals and you'll get your answer. So this is... Your answers would be 7, 10, and 3. Yeah. If you check them, you'll see that those are right.